Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Based on the popularity of the 1960s style psychedelic music posters I've done on earlier versions of Photoshop, I created this one and will show you how to recreate it using different techniques. This tutorial is in two parts. The first half will show you how to create the base of the poster, and in part two, we'll add the text and texture. I provided this aged paper texture for you to download so you can use it for your poster. Its link is located in the video description or project files. Go to Image and Image Size. Its measurements and resolution are consistent with many psychedelic posters that were produced in the 60s. Since the image is so large, you may want to decrease the overall size and or resolution if you're not intending to print it. To fit it onto your canvas, press Ctrl or Command-0. Click off the chain link on the background layer to unlock it. This will allow us to move it anywhere on the layers panel. Let's name it Paper Texture. Click off the thumbnail to temporarily hide the texture. We want to make a new layer below the active layer. To do this, Control click or Command click on the new layer icon to make the new layer. We'll fill it with black. To do this, first, make sure your foreground and background colors are black and white respectively. If they're not, click this icon or press D on your keyboard. Since black is the foreground color, press Alt or Option plus Delete. Click the FX icon and choose Gradient Overlay. The blend mode is normal and the opacity is 100%. The style is linear and the angle is 90 degrees. Click the gradient bar to open the gradient editor. Click the black-white thumbnail and click the lower left stop. Click the color box to open the color picker. Pick a color for the lower half of your gradient background. I already picked my color, so I'll type it in, 266411. Once you pick your color, click OK. Click the lower right stop, the color box, and pick a color for the top of your gradient background. I'll type in a dark blue-green, 113064. Then, click OK on all three windows. Next, we're going to create a border around the inside perimeter of our poster. Click the New Layer icon to make a new layer. Fill it with black and double-click the thumbnail to open its layer style window. Click Stroke and make the position inside. I'll make the size 120 pixels, however, if your document size and resolution are different, you may want to adjust the amount for the size of your border. Click the color box and make the color white. Then click OK on both windows. Reduce the fill to 0%. This hid the black color but retained the effects, which in this example is a white border stroke. To distort the border, click the icon at the upper right corner of the Layers panel and click Convert to Smart Object. You know it's a smart object when you see this icon on the thumbnail. Let's name it Border. Go to Filter, Distort, and Ripple. Make the size large, slide the amount all the way to the right, and click OK. Open a photo that you'd like to use in your poster. I downloaded this one from Shutterstock.com. We need to cut and copy the subject from the rest of the photo. To do this, we first have to make a selection around the subject. There are many ways to do this, and your choice should depend on the characteristics of your photo. For this example, I'll use the Quick Selection tool. I'll use a size of 10 pixels, however, if you're using this tool as well, you may find a different amount works better for your image based on its measurements and resolution. Drag the tool over the subject to select it. To delete areas of the selection, press and hold Alt or Option as you drag your tool over it. 
Once your selection is finished, press Ctrl or Command J to cut the subject out from its background and copy it to its own layer. Press V to open your Move tool and drag your subject onto the tab of your poster document. Without releasing your mouse or pen, drag it down onto your image and then release. To move it, just drag it. To place it behind the border, go to the Layers panel and place your subject layer below the border layer. To resize it, Open your Transform tool by pressing Ctrl or Command T. Go to a corner, and when you see a diagonal double arrow, press and hold Alt or Option plus Shift as you drag it out or in. Holding Shift retains its aspect ratio. Once you're happy with its size and position, press Enter or Return. Make a copy of it, which we'll add effects to. First, Remove all its color by pressing Ctrl or Command Shift U. Then go to Image, Adjustments, and Posterize. Make the levels 3 and click OK. Next, we'll add an outline and border surrounding it and then add customized colors. Double click the thumbnail of the posterized subject to open its layer style window. Click Stroke and the color box. Pick White and click OK. Make the size 9 pixels, the position inside, and the blend mode normal. Click Outer Glow and the color box. Pick White and click OK. Change the blend mode to color Dodge and the opacity to 50%. Make the spread 100% and the size 30 pixels. Then click OK. Click the Adjustment Layer icon and choose Gradient Map. Click the Clipping Mask icon. This will clip or restrict the Gradient Map Adjustment Layer to effect just the one layer beneath it in the Layers panel. Click the Gradient Map bar to open the Gradient Editor. Click the lower left stop, the color box, and pick a color to replace the black areas of your subject. I already picked my color, so I'll type it in, 0E188D. Once you pick your color, click OK or press Enter or Return. Click in the middle below the bar to add another stop. Click the color box, and pick a color to replace the areas of your subject that were originally gray. I'll type in B5BA17. After you pick your color, click OK or press Enter or Return for both windows. In part two of this tutorial, we'll add text and texture to finish our vintage 60s psychedelic poster. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.